What's the scene, Justin? Scene 27, take one. <laughs> what actually, that actually, we're doing a scene where uh, Anthony's character is, uh, he's taking a rest. He just went running from somebody. He's taking a rest, and he finds a teddy bear buried in the dirt. And uh, he's kind of looking at it, reminiscing a little bit, puts it in his pack, and then bolts because he hears the noise and uh, heads for the woods. Nice. We ready? Help. I'm alive. Back to the Geek Speak Radio Show. Feels like my favorite time of year. October. Halloween. Perfect. This, this would have been a perfect show for that. Anyway, welcome back to the Geek Speak Radio Show. We're talking to Justin Berger, director, producer, Help I'm Alive, the web series coming to helpimalive.tv. Y'all can go to geekspeakradioshow.com. All the links are on there for the Facebooks, the Twitters. You can follow along. And again, like we mentioned a few minutes ago, casting will be April 25th and 26th in uh, Morgan Hill. Again, check the website, helpimalive.tv. All the details, contact info right there. Hey, Justin, so what's the plan with this web series? Are you looking for this to be a weekly, monthly? What are your plans? Um, it, we would ideally like it to be a weekly thing. Uh, what our plan is right now is actually, speaking of October, we'd like to release it in October um, around Halloween just to kind of kick it off, you know, with, in all its glory, in all its zombie-loving glory. And uh, <laughs> ideally it would be a weekly web series where uh, you have a 20-minute episode every week um, you would go to helpamalive.tv, watch it. Uh, but we also want to make it accessible to anybody with a cell phone, uh, an iPad, a laptop, basically any kind of like mobile device. We want you to be able to see it on there. Um, so that's what we're geared. That's what we're going towards. And you know, the beauty of a web series is you can get away with things that you couldn't on a regular TV show, um, even cable shows. So we're we're gonna have fun with that too. Um, yeah, is this yeah. going to be straight up horror film like, or are you going to have elements of comedy? There's going to be there's going to be bits of comedy. I mean, it's 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 going to it's going to run the gambit across the board as far as styles. I mean, I liken it to Lost and the new Battlestar Galactica in the sense of you know it's an ensemble cast. It's it's a drama, but it's also got that you know that fantasy element, and it's just going to be something a little dark and twisted. And uh, the zombies are definitely going to, you know, give it the gore and the, the violence that is going to be pretty sick. The trailer that you premiered at, uh, at WonderCon, are you going to make that public? Because it's not public now, is it? No, it's, it, you could only see it at WonderCon. We are going to put it on our website uh, next month, actually, so the world can see it. And it's just a teaser kind of promo that we did exclusively for WonderCon. Um, we shot it in three days earlier this year. It was a lot of fun to make, and it kind of—it was the first thing that we'd ever shot for the series, and it kind of brought us as well as you know the audience watching it into the world of Help Him Alive. And uh, the story actually takes place 20 years in the future, which which if you watch the promo, and you will, uh, we kind of we we start off in, in in modern times, and then we jump ahead to 20 years after. And uh, we tried to do a teaser was do something kind of very classic. Um, you know, it's got a Frankenstein element to it that we really liked, and uh, and it goes it goes a little further than that though. And then we jump ahead to our our lead character and you know what he's doing 20 years later, and it, it just raises a bunch of questions. We wanted to do something that was thought provoking that people were like, you know, what is this? Like, why is this going on? Who's this guy running from? You know, who's yeah. who's in this jeep hitting him? And and you know, I think we accomplished that at WonderCon. We had a lot of people come through and watch it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, but funny you mentioned uh, Frankenstein because that that is what I thought the you know the the famous scene from uh, the classic Frankenstein when he throws a kid in the, in the water. Uh, another thing that uh, that st- came to my mind when I first saw the the trailer, and again, you guys haven't seen it yet, so uh, sorry. Um, is, is the music at the end? It reminded me a lot of the original Resident Evil video game. Is, is there any of that in it? Uh, that's interesting. I mean, it wasn't planned that way, but I think it's cool that, that you. And he said that um, the music was actually done by by Catawano, who's a local Bay Area musician. She's from Crown City Rockers, and uh, I had given her inspiration for the promo. Um, I think I gave her, uh, I did give her Resident Evil Extinction, like kind of the intro music, which is really kind of techy and spooky. Yeah. Uh, I told her Incept, think Inception, think uh, you know Bear McCreary from Battlestar Galactica, think Robert Rodriguez, you know, and kind of combined all those elements. And she did an amazing job on the score. 
Yeah, she did. And if anything, mentioning all those movies right there, you got our our, our audience, our listeners. They are gonna flock to the, to this thing. And again, it's uh, Help I'm Alive TV. Go to ours GeekSpeakRadioShow dot com. The links are all on there. You can follow along. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at this uh, the character descriptions. You got quite a big cast here. You, you mentioned this is an ensemble show, but um, how many people are you really going to have in here? Um, we're currently looking to cast. Um I think I want to say 13, but it could even be more than that. I mean, some of those people are minor characters for sure, but as far as our lead cast, I think we've got a solid uh, 8 to 10 people who are going to be main characters that, that we're going to follow their story arcs and, and what happens to them. Um, not all those characters will survive the first season, I will say. Uh, we are going to try to kind of shake things up, and we're not going to give our audience the typical you know, hero story of like, okay, well, this person will live and that person will die, blah, blah, blah. We really want to kind of shake things up. So uh, it's not going to be the usual suspects for sure, but uh, it should be be a lot of fun. Are any of these zombies? No, none of those are zombies. Um, The zombies, like I mentioned, the zombies are very secondary. There's going to be plenty of zombie action, but uh, we actually had a raffle at WonderCon and we gave away five walk-on rolls as zombies where uh, five people won the opportunity to come down, get made up as a zombie, and then be in a scene as a zombie. So that was pretty fun. It's funny because we had, we had a Blu-ray player for Raffle too, and I think more people were stoked about being a zombie than getting a Blu-ray <laughs> player. It was pretty cool. <laughs> and rightfully so, you know what I mean? Yeah. They- uh, but yeah, it's, there's, there's going to be plenty of opportunities too to be a zombie. We're going to be doing casting calls. You know, Maybe we'll, we'll, have, we'll let you guys give away a free walk-on roll or something. Yeah, definitely. Who who will do you know who's going to be doing the uh, makeup? Have you chosen anybody yet? Uh the person that we've been using who's amazing, her name is Chrysalis Rose, and she's a local Bay Area makeup artist. We really want to keep it Bay Area. I mean, that is that is important to us. Um but I actually found her through Craigslist. I mean, you know, God bless Craigslist. Good old Craigslist. And uh it was it was it was really random and she was a person that really stood out to me when I went to her website and um, she, you know, she's done zombies and, and she did an amazing job. It's, it's unfortunate because in the promo, there's this amazing bite mark on our zombie's neck to our zombie. We named Frank, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, he has this amazing bite mark. I mean, it looks so real. And unfortunately, like you've seen the promo, he kind of turns his head and you can't really see it. And we're, I was kind of bummed about that, but we have some amazing, uh, photos of it. And we actually, we're going to do a, a, a making of a zombie documentary little short that we're going to put on our website where you can actually see the process of creating a zombie. We're talking to Justin Berger, director and producer. Help I'm Alive is a web series coming soon. Again, the uh, the website is help I'm alive I'm alive dot TV. And Justin, you're also part of HKL Films. Talk to, talk about that. Um, HKL Films is my self-proclaimed production company. I mean, it's not like we are uh, an LLC or nothing like that. It's just a name that I that I gave for things that I create and to put kind of my mark on. And I do a variety of things uh, in addition to help them alive. I do you know, internet videos, uh, direct music videos. Um, I'm actually writing my own scripts now for my own you know, indie films and stuff like that. So um, that's just kind of like my umbrella for all the stuff that I do. Okay. And again, uh, going back to Help I'm Alive, uh, don't forget, casting, April 25th, 26th. The auditions will be in uh, Morgan Hill. Uh, all the information is up on oursgeekspeakradioshow.com. Go to the link section, scroll down to the movies. It's on there. You'll see a little picture, and it says, Help I'm Alive. It, and their website, again, is helpimalive.tv if you want to go there directly. So, again, Justin, thanks a lot for coming on. We'll definitely keep in touch, and we'll uh, support you guys as much as we can. It was a pleasure, man. I appreciate it, and yeah, definitely check us out. And I think uh, everybody's, I think everybody's really going to dig this show. We're really trying hard to make it something unique and original, but still have all the elements that people love about this genre. Yeah, one, one last question before I do let you go. Uh, you know, especially you mentioned earlier, you, you want to hopefully it'll, it'll be released around Halloween. Last year, Halloween night, there was another little show on AMC. I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh, how will you? How will it not be compared to that? Or what, what, what's different about this one than The Walking Dead? Um, I'm sure we're going to get comparisons, probably comparisons to a lot of zombie things because it's just the genre. But uh, what makes me what makes our show different than most zombie things is, like I said, the zombies are kind of secondary. Like, you've been established in this world 20 years after the zombie apocalypse. The zombies are in the background. They're kind of secondary characters. They're definitely a threat, but there are actually things that are much more dangerous than zombies. 
that are a threat to our survivors. Uh, we also find out in the first season that there's a cure, uh, which a lot of zombie stories really don't have, or they don't set it up very quickly. Or very immediately, you discover there's a cure. Um, and like I said, it's very, it's very uh, much based on the characters. It's very character driven. It's you know you, you're going to get your zombie blood and guts. You're going to get you know the sci the sci fi element of it. But at the end of the day, it's a story about people and and how they're dealing with the situations they're in. I think that's another aspect that kind of makes it unique for us. Okay, and again, it's called Help. I'm alive. Help. I'm alive. TV is a website. Go to our go to our Geekspeak Radio Show dot com. The Facebook, the Twitter, everything is on there. And don't forget the casting, the auditions, April twenty fifth and twenty sixth in Morgan Hill. Again, website, go on there. Everything is there. Justin, thanks a lot for coming on. And like I said, we'll keep in touch as uh, it progresses. Best of luck. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. All right, Justin. Thanks a lot. Okay, so thanks to you and Damien, actually, that we found, you guys found, well, you found the zombie babes. But then once you got past that. Yeah, I actually talked to Chrysalis Rose. I, I met the makeup artist for this. She's got her card and everything. Did you happen to because they had um, the screens and and it was on a loop the trailer the exclusive trailer for WonderCon did you did you get to see it No I'm I'm bummed See all you all you guys were looking at was the zombie babes <laughs> all stuck well they did their job at least That's right Yeah I'm intrigued Yeah so again uh, thanks out to Justin Berger director producer Help I'm Alive is the name of the web series um, Not sure when it's going to come Hopefully like Justin mentioned by Halloween uh, it, How perfect would that be too if it does come on yeah. Halloween Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to be there. You, you guys know how, how much I love all the scary stuff. Um, the more, the better. I'll watch Walking Dead. This one, Help I'm Alive. Anything zombies, I'm there. Anything that makes uh, makes us scared. Although it's kind of hard to you know scare me because nothing really does scare me. Even roller coasters, I never screamed or anything on there. Um, so we talked to Justin. He's a director, like I said. Next, we're going to talk to the person who actually came up with the idea. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. The Geek Speak Radio Show. We'll be right back. 